Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, I'm going to give my six month review on the Cold Steel Airlight Tanto. If you'd like to watch the original review where I share all these specs and my initial impressions, do check out the video in the link in the card above or the description below. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so and support the channel. Thanks. So I've had this knife for more than six months and I have tried to use it and I'll be honest, I haven't used it that much in terms of actual EDC or using it in the field and simply because I don't have a connection with this knife. And I think, you know, your connection with the knife is quite important. You need to feel that you're one of the knife, you want to feel that you want to carry it and you want to use it. And I don't get it with this particular knife. This is a very lightweight and thin knife and that's why it's called the Air Light Series. This is a Tanto style blade. It's got thumb studs for you to deploy and it features the Cold Steel Triad lock, which is all good. So generally on paper, everything is good about this knife. The steel is OS 10A. Uh, this is made in Taiwan, even though it is an American brand, but the fit and finish is good. G10 scales, no liners, that keeps it slim and it keeps it lightweight. But even with all these positive attributes, I just don't have a connection with this knife. My initial impression uh, when I did bring it out few just to use it, I felt it was a nice big knife, but just felt a bit small and flimsy. Now, it is not flimsy, it is solid, but I'm talking about just the feel. It felt too thin, it felt too light on the handle. So if you talk about balance, uh, I just felt the balance was off somehow. Now, in someone else's hands, you know, they may feel that this is the perfect knife. So I'm just sharing really my opinion. And that's why this is a six month review. I've had it for a time. I've gone back to it. So I, I didn't like it. I didn't use it. So I put it off and then I always would go back to it every now and then just to try, just to see if I could get used to it, but with the same results. What I have ended up using this is as part of my survival box, which is a lunch box. And I shared that in a video in the link in the card above or the description below. This fits perfectly in a wallet in that box. And because it's got such a thin profile, it's light. I think it would serve that sort of purpose very well. So I could put this in a bug out bag, no problem, because it's not something I'll be using every day. I'm not carrying it every day. And uh, this is for like a one-off survival situation. Or if I really need it, then of course, any knife would be good. And this would definitely do its job. Uh, in my case, I have the Tanto style blade, great for stabbing. Uh, so very strong. This has a good blade stock. You can also get this in a drop point or a clip point. Uh, but I got the Tanto at that time. So overall, for me, after six months, I still don't have a connection with this knife. I do think there are a lot of positive attributes. It just doesn't work for me. Now, do you have any of the Cold Steel Airlight series, uh, whether it's a Tanto, Drop Point, or the Clip Point? Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you feel the same way or do you love your knife? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.